What is up guys, we're back with a new video and this video is all about picking the right type of enclosure for the driver that you have picked out. Now it's pretty interesting because when you go on a website like uh, Parts Express or something, they will often give you a sealed volume and a vented volume and they'll give you an optimate cabinet size. And the question really resounds is, well, which one's better? Should I do the sealed or should I do the vented or do I just pick you know whichever one I want? And Believe it or not, there are some general rules of thumb that you can follow to figure out whether it would be best for a sealed or ported. Now, if you're here because you think that we're talking about which one's actually better, sealed or ported in general, that's not what we're discussing today. However, what we are discussing might help you make a little bit more sense of why some people might think sealed is better and why some people might think ported is better. So let's go ahead and take a look at two of the theories that can help you pick out what type of enclosure you should build. So the first one is called EBP. Now on my website, I'm gonna put a link down in the description of this video that you can actually go to this because there is a calculator to help you figure out some of the math portion of this. First thing is we're gonna talk about is EBP, which stands for Efficiency Bandwidth Product. This is actually a very easy number to figure out. All it is is the FS, the resident frequency of a driver, and divided by the QES. Now that's going to give you a number. The closer that number is to 100, the better it is for a ported enclosure. Now the closer that number is to 50, the better it is for a sealed box. So it's pretty easy. We just have to figure out what the actual EBP number is. In order to do that, we're going to go to the website. Now right now I'm going to Parts Express website. And I'm going to scroll down to try to find the Thiel small parameters. It's important to note that not every driver has the Thiel small parameters readily available. Now, typically on Parts Express website, they are, but there are a lot, well, I can't say a lot, but there are some at least in car audio where they're a little bit harder to find. What I would highly suggest to you is to look at the user manual or try to download the user manual. There's sometimes these uh, Thiel small parameters are hidden inside that when they're not readily available on a website. So keep that in mind. So what we're gonna do is find that resident frequency of 19.5 and we're gonna find that QES of 0.62. And we're just gonna hit these on in here. So 19.5, 0.62, and the EBP is 31.4516, what all kinds of other numbers, but basically 31. So once again, if we go back to the basic ideology of this number, the closer to 100, suited for ported and the closer to 50 sealed okay and anything in between you might have the option to do either now it's gonna be up in the air so this particular driver would tell you that it is better for a sealed enclosure because that number is closer to 50. now that was a very quick and easy calculation that we did and we know now the Dayton Ultimax 18 is better suited for a sealed enclosure more on that a little bit later now the second part of this is the Q of the driver. Now we're going to look at the total Q, which is the QTS. It's once again found in the Thiel small parameters, and this number, if it's below 0.4, it's typically better suited for a ported enclosure. And if it's between 0.4 and 0.7, it's best suited for sealed. And 0.7 and above, infinite baffle or free air. Although some people really like that number to be above one. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Q of the Ultimax 18 and see if it also says it would be better for sealed. Now, in order for it to be better than sealed, once again, it should be between 0.4 and 0.7. And the QTS, the total Q is 0.53. So once again, it says the Dayton Ultimax is better for a sealed alignment. So this really worked out pretty well. As we can easily see, the key of the driver says, all right, it's better to be sealed. The EBP calculator came out and said, yep, better for sealed. Now the question is, are there ever problems with the calculations? Does EBP ever come out as one and the key of the driver come out as another? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. We're actually on the queue right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Tank Van W5 1138SMF, one of my favorite small subwoofer drivers. If you take a look at that, the total QTS is 0.49. Now we know once again, between 0.4 and 0.7, that's gonna be good for a sealed alignment. 
fantastic. That was pretty easy and fast to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at the EBP calculations. We're going to take a look at the FS, which is 45, and we're going to take a look at the QES, which is 0.57. So we'll put these in the calculator, 0.57, 78. Now that's telling us that it's better for a ported enclosure. Anything closer to 100 is better for a ported. Keep in mind, I did say anything really kind of around the 75-ish could go either, but really this is saying it should be better for a ported. So these numbers are contradicting each other, really. One's saying ported, one's saying sealed. So which one's better? Well, you know, that's when you come down to trying to figure that out with a program like WinISD. Uh, sometimes it's going to end up coming down to that. And really, honestly, this is just a general rule of thumb. And the reason why I'm, I brought up the Ultimax 18 is some of you guys already know this, but for those who don't, the Ultimax 18 is what I would consider a rule breaker. Okay, It definitely says it's better sealed. No doubt about it. I mean, we looked at it. It was nowhere even close to being a ported alignment. And yet, it is one of the most common home theater enthusiast subwoofers on the market okay it has um, actually some designs that are designed specifically for ported alignments which is the marty i'll go ahead and click on that so you can see it it has an entire forum uh, created about this over 266 pages on avs forum and they actually teach you how to build the different martys and people have been very very happy with their ported martys in fact, that driver's also been used in an infinite baffle as well. And that just kind of tells us that we really have to take a good look at all of the driver parameters to really figure out what type of box we need to use it in. However, there are times in which you put the wrong driver in the wrong type of box and it doesn't sound as good as it should. And I think a lot of times when people get uh, caught up on some of these ported and sealed enclosure debates, is because you've you've chosen a, a poor design for the particular driver that you've you're using now if you're brand new and you're just getting into diy audio i would start with the ebp calculator and the queue of the driver to really figure out you know what should i do first okay now a lot of people build sealed dayton ultimaxes as well and are very happy with that too so i don't want you to think that the dayton ultimax is only ported but it does use both designs and has been very successful with both designs. When you get a little bit more into this, then I'd scroll down and I would uh, watch this WinISD tutorial and start learning these. There's a lot of things to learn in WinISD. I haven't even gone over you know, half the stuff in the WinISD tutorial, but it will start getting you with at least the basics of understanding why you might choose a sealed or ported driver as well. So first thing to do, start with the general rules and then move your way to WinISD. Once again, all this will be linked in the description of the video. Now I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed this video and start to understand that uh, not every driver is going to sound good in every type of enclosure. And so it is good to be able to at least look at this general rule of thumb first and take that into consideration before you build your enclosure. All right, guys, I hope that you have a great night, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Now, this is 123Toyd of Toyd's DIY Audio, and I'm out.